curse of the billy goat. William Cyanese, owner of the billy goat bar, brought his pet goat to Wrigley Field to watch Game 4 of the 1945 World Series. During the seventh inning, Chicago Cubs owner Philip Wrigley personally had Cyanese, and the goat ejected because of complaints from other fans about the smell. A furious Cyanese reportedly declared, them Cubs, they aren't gonna win no more. The Cubs proceeded to drop the next three games, to lose the series to the Detroit Tigers, prompting Cyanese to send Wrigley a telegram masking, who smells now. The Cubs have not made it to a World Series since. Several attempts have been made to break the curse, ranging from Cyanese's nephew Billy bringing a goat, onto the field to fans, hanging a butchered goat from the statue of Harry Carey in Chicago. According to Sam Cyanis, William's nephew-in-law, the curse can only be lifted by the Cubs organization showing a genuine fondness for goats, allowing them into Wrigley Field, because they truly want to, and not simply for publicity. The Curse of the Bambino in perhaps the most famous of sports curses, the Red Sox decision to sell Babe Ruth to the Yankees in 1920, brought down an 83-year championship drought. Before the trade, the Red Sox had won five World Series, the Yankees none. From the trade to 2003, the Yankees won 26 series, the Sox zero. The curse's reputation was enhanced by the Red Sox repeatedly coming close and falling short. The team made four World Series appearances and each went the full seven games. In 1986, the Red Sox were one out away from winning the series, in six games when the tying run scored on a wild pitch, followed by, Mookie Wilson's, ground ball rolling through Bill Buckner's legs to put the Mets ahead. In Game 7, the Sox took an early 3-0 lead only to blow it, and lose 8-5. The curse finally ended in 2004. First, the Red Sox beat the Yankees, in the American League Championship Series, despite losing the first three games, they then swept the Cardinals in the World Series. The Sox added another series win in 2007, with a sweep of the Colorado Rockies. The sox aroos which Dr. Curse According the autobiography of player Johnny Warren, during the 1970 World Cup qualifiers, Australia's Soxeroos hired a witch doctor to curse their opponents. Australia proceeded to beat Rhodesia, 3-1. However, when the players were unable to come up with the £1,000 fee demanded by the witch doctor, he reversed the curse onto the Soxeroos, who lost their next match to Israel, partly because three players fell ill during the match. In 2004, Australian comedian, or filmmaker, John Safran read Warren's book, and traveled to Africa to reverse the curse. He found that the original witch doctor was dead, but hired a second one who performed a rite in which he killed a chicken, and splattered the blood over Safran. The Soxaroos not only qualified for the 2006 World Cup, they advanced to the second round, the best result they ever had. The Madden Curse Since 1999, the cover of the Madden NFL video game has featured a top player, many of whom have suffered injury or setback. For example, Michael Vick appeared on the cover of Madden NFL 2004, and suffered a leg injury that sidelined him for most of the 2003 season. When Donovan McNabb was chosen for the Madden 2006 cover, he declared I don't believe in the curse at all. He suffered a hernia in the first game of the 2005 season, played despite the pain for eight more games, then was re-injured, opted for surgery, and missed the last seven games. In 2006, Sean Alexander, the previous season's MVP, was featured on Madden NFL 2007, and sustained a foot injury, that caused him to miss six starts, when EA Sports announced that, Laudanian Tomlinson would be on the 2008 cover, superstitious fans created the website, SavoldFromMadden.com, to urge him to reconsider, Tomlinson eventually declined the offer, but said it was over his payment, not concerns about the curse.
the curse of the colonel. When the Hanshin Tigers won the 1985 Japan Championship Series, celebrating fans in Osaka grabbed a statue of Colonel Sanders, from a Kentucky Fried Chicken, and threw it off a bridge into a canal, over the next 17 years, the Tigers finished last in their league 10 times, inspiring a rumor that, the team would never win another championship until the Colonel's statue is recovered. The Tigers won league championships in 2003 and 2005 only to lose the Japan Series. Before too much blame is given to the Colonel, it should be noted that the Tigers had earlier gone 21 years between league championships 1964 to 85 without any known curse affecting them. The statue was recently discovered on March 10, 2009, by a construction crew building a new boardwalk.